Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV, and today we're going to be doing sort of second episode of our kind of news roundup that we're going to be doing over the off season. Obviously, because there's no games to preview or react to or <clears throat> any sort of that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd do it like a kind of news roundup. We did it last year as well. If you look back at the channel, where we kind of discussed all the latest transfer news, all the latest news around Bows. Um. It's been a while since the last video, obviously over Christmas, I was busy, so I couldn't really get around to doing one, but if anyone's watching, I hope you've all had a good Christmas, Um, hope you all have a great New Year as well, obviously, it's a couple of days until New Year's Day, so hope you all have a good New Year, Um, <clears throat> hope it's a good one for, for balls, and hopefully we can achieve something good this year, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, but um, getting into the video, there's three new signings to talk about, Um. A couple of rumors as well that I'm going to talk about too. Uh, I asked uh, on the Instagram as well if there was anything you wanted to talk, uh, want me to talk about in the video, and uh, a couple of people got back to me, so I'll, um, I'll, I'll talk about that in, in the video as well. So, start with the three new signings. Um, start with kind of the obviously, there was one that was very, very good that a lot of people were excited about. We'll leave that till last. We'll talk about the other two that were made. First up, Toy Ryan, goalkeeper from Treaty United. Uh, solid keeper, a very good keeper. I think that's a good sign. And obviously, he, he used to be at Cork. Um, he kind of had, had that game against us um, in 2019, I believe, where we won 1 0. But I think Penn had put in a cross and then he kind of dropped the ball into his own net and he went down as an own goal, which was it was a mad goal. But, um, He's a good keeper. Look, like, I have heard of a lot of people that like, he, had, he has been very good for Treaty this season. I can't, I'll be honest, I can't, I can't really say I've watched a lot of Treaty, ga Treaty United games this year. I haven't, I don't think I've really watched one, but um, I think he won that player of the season there. Um, no, he's a solid keeper. I think he'll definitely be a good um, replacement for Stephen McGuinness, who obviously went back, back to the Ray Capital here, obviously. Bit, bit of a weird one now. They're kind of like the, um, the one team now, really. I don't know how we caught what their club name is going to be and all that kind of stuff, but he's obviously gone back there and um, we've replaced him with Toy Bryan, which I think is a good sign and he's a good keeper. He'll he'll push Talbot, but I think obviously Talbot, he'll be the number one, I'd imagine, for the majority of the season. Um, <clears throat> Jordan Dartley is the other sign we made. Um, Decent player, uh, he's he's a, he's a midfielder. Brought him in from Tampa Bay Rail. He's in America. Um, he's played uh, at underage level for Ireland a couple of times. Um, he was previously at Sheffield United, I believe, before he went to um, Tampa Bay. So he's got good pedigree. I believe he did well over in America. He looks like a big, strong kind of physical unit. So I would imagine he'll kind of be that replacement for Keith Buckley. Um, Sort of playing that kind of deeper role in the midfield, breaking up play, winning tackles. Um, I see he looks a good player. I've seen him score a couple of goals as well, and they, they were good goals from outside the box. <clears throat> so he's fond of a screamer as well as from time to time. So, <clears throat> sorry, so, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, yeah. So I, th I think he'll prove to be a decent signing, but um, yeah. It was, you know, we're putting a decent squad together now. Um, we'll obviously get onto the other signing that we made. Um, but I think we're building a decent squad, despite all the players we've lost and all the kind of worry that has been surrounded with, with the departures. Um, I think that things are starting to get a bit better now. Um, we're kind of seeing a bit of a clearer future of what the team may look like for next year, which is good because we were getting a little bit worried there. There wasn't really many nails coming out when they were we've got really we've now like four or five signs in a row yeah in a five day period or whatever so <clears throat> it's, it's good to see um chris twardick has come back that's probably the big signing that we've made which is a very good sign and done really well it was the first time he was here he only played about 14 games i think before he went off to um jaggy and elda yeah the livestock i think that's what they were called i can't really remember to be honest but um uh, he's he's a very good player, you know. He's really good on the ball, very technical, very skillful, very um. <clears throat> he's got a good work out on him. He can he can track back. He'll get up and down the pitch. He'll put a good ball into the box. Very pacey, as I mentioned. Um. So yeah, I think that's a that's a really good sign. And you know, I wasn't really expecting it. Obviously, there was no real 
rumours about him coming back. Um, oh, then it doesn't go out of nowhere. It's just done. Um, Owen Kelzer, I think he's from the sun, isn't he? Um, just wrote an article saying it was it had been agreed, and that's that's where it really came from. Like there was no real rumours about it. Well, there wasn't really any rumours about any of the signs we made by Jordan Doherty and others. A little bit of talk about that before it was announced, but um. <clears throat> Yeah, there was no real rumors about any of the signs we've made by Doherty, as I mentioned. But it's, it's it's good to see the team coming together now. Obviously, we've got Junior in, we've got Max Murphy in, we've got Doherty in, we've got Toy Ryan in, we've got Twardick in now. Um, so that's five signings. Good players. Um, they'll, they'll improve the team, definitely. They'll um, fill the void of some of the players that have left. Um, so it's, it's good to see. A um, couple of rumors as well. Two more players have been linked to post that have previously played for us, Dan Casey and Andre Roy. Um, starting with Casey, I was surprised when I heard about it because I didn't really think, and I still don't really think it's, who knows, there could be something in it, like we just don't know, but I just don't really see it, to be honest. He went over to America there, he's still about 23, 24. I thought he'd kind of be over there for a few years, you can see as a bit of a long-term project. Uh, Sacramento, I believe, but he, he went there when he left us. Um, <clears throat> he spent most of his time in his career over in America. But now I was surprised when I heard the rumour about it. I still don't really think it'll happen. It could do. We, we you never know. It is the League of World at the end of the day. Signings could be announced imminently. You know, you, you, you couldn't, you didn't really, you, you know, sometimes you don't really hear it in the bill. And all of a sudden they're announced and you're like, well, didn't see that coming, you know. Um, see, when I was like, next tomorrow, I could see that Dan Casey's been announced, and I'd be like, oh, I, I said that it didn't even happen, and now it's, 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 um, it's announced. So, like, you just never know. Andre Wright is one I kind of see maybe being a bit more believable, a bit more possible, because, you know, he we, we need a striker. I believe he's not staying at Sligo. I'm not sure what kind of deal he's on there. If it's a Two or three year deal, I doubt it to be honest. Um, say I know we joined in the summer, maybe the, it was a year deal or half a six, it's not six months, like a bit of like a deal till the end of the season. I don't know, but if it's like they went, do let him go. And if we did really want them, like it's quite, I could see it happening. Um, I haven't heard anything about it, but um. I know there's been rumours on Twitter about it, but there's nothing really concrete about it yet. No real reliable sources have kind of reported on it yet. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. He's a he's a decent player. He can hold the ball well. He can score your goals. I know we brought in Junior. Um, I know I did hear that Amishir had resigned, but there ha there's been no real announcement about that yet. Which we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. Hopefully, he does resign because he is a promising player for the time to come. But, um, you know, he, he can um, he can score your goals, he can hold up the ball, he's quick, he's strong, you know, he's a good young player. And he, you know, someone who could really be a part, an important player for us in the future. And it's important that we do tie him down to another maybe one or two year deal. Because obviously, one thing that's been a real positive for me about the, the off season is the players that we signed, we're getting them a multi year deal. It's, you know, whatever multi year is, I don't know. It could be just a two year deal or it could be a three year or something like that. I can't imagine it's in like a four or a five because I don't think the club could really afford to do that. It's probably just a two or a three year deal. Um, but either way, that, that that's very good. A lot, as long as it's you know, not a one year deal. And we're just losing them for nothing then at the end of the season, like we have with Georgie Kelly, like we have with other players in the past. Um so yeah, that that's really that's a real positive for me, uh, about the off season. Um you know, getting players on multi year deals. Now this they specified that Doherty was a two year deal and the others were multi year deals. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's just the yeah, are all two year deals or two, three year deals. Like I said, I, I really don't know. But um that's kind of it really that I know I'm just getting onto the um the, the question I put up on Instagram. Is there anything you want me to discuss? And one that came back to me that I, I think is is I'm happy to discuss is how you know can we recover after losing the cup final and having a bit of a disappointing season? 
obviously players that were there last season, most of them probably aren't going to be here, you know, next year. Obviously, that's been confirmed. The likes of Wardy, Bucco, Cornwall, Kelly, Tierney have all left the club. Um, you know, so, it, you know, you've got another crop of players coming through um, into the team and, you know, they'll have to settle in. Obviously, I think a lot of them will kind of shift the way we play, but, you know, it could get, could be a bit like last year where we kind of start slow, but then, Kind of gets better as the season goes on, um. But I think, but it's all kind of about how we can, how we progress after it. You know, can we can we bounce back from it? Can we push on from the what was in general like a disappointing season? Um, you know, not getting Europe. Yeah, we made it to a cup final, but we lost it in a cup final, which on paper we probably should have won. Just based on the fact that we had been in the Aviva before. I know a lot of the players said before the game that that wouldn't really play a part, but sometimes it can, you know, you're used to the surroundings. I know there wasn't as many fans in the European game as there was in the Aviva. There was 37, 6,000, I think, in the Aviva. And there was only 6,000 and 8,000 at the games in the Aviva you know, during the summer. So, like, you know, it's obviously a lot different. But, you know, you're, you're used to the surroundings, you're used to the pitch, you're used to... You know, the way we play football should have been, you know, really still with the, kind of the way the pitch is at the Aviva, how big it is. And it wasn't, wasn't to be, was it? You know, we just lost in the day and we just got to bounce back from that. And it's important that we do because we really do need to improve on the season. Just gone. You know, not getting Europe was a big disappointment. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's almost the most that we do it this year just financially and with the players we've got and the infrastructure at the infrastructure at the club um it's really important that we do get Europe this season. Um because we want we you want to do you want to play in the Europe League, you know, the money you'll get from it. Um and the kind of attraction you'll get from it. Because you know, when we beat Pelk, you know, there was a lot of people kind of getting into it, you know, saying Look how well those are doing in Europe. They're beating these teams in the Aviva and they're producing really good football and the fans are really having a really good time. Like, if you look at the atmosphere, there was only 8,000 at that Pelk March, but it felt like there was more, you know, and, and um, probably around none of it, you know, it's some kind of uh, not really answering the question, like, how can we bounce back? But, you know, that it's that's what you're missing out on, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, when you're not in Europe, and no doubt the players that are still here, um, that haven't left, like Talbot, Wilson, um, Ali Coote, Liam Bohr from your important players last year, will be feeling like you know that the season has to be better, and I'm sure they can hold that by the heat long, and then the people at the club that next season's going to have to be better, um, so yeah, that's that's where I'll end it. That's kind of all the news that's been. Um, surrounding balls lately. Um, you now we're obviously heading into January now. Preseason will be will be um starting soon enough. Um, friendly stuff we getting played soon. So it's I still think there is some business to do, despite the four players we brought in. I still think maybe three or four more, and you you can sort of start to see a decent team already. You can, but like we probably do need a couple of more players in. Certain positions, like I think, you probably need a number ten. You probably need another striker. We definitely need a centre half. After Cornwall left, we definitely need a right back. If Andy Lyons leaves, because he hasn't signed back yet, we we don't know what's happening there. I think I did read something saying he's uh, looking at get his options at the minute. Um, he has been up with a contract, obviously, but he's just kind of weighing up his options at the minute. He he did the same last year, and he did end up signing back quite late. Um, so it could happen again, you never know. But yeah, that, that's where I'll end it. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you've been thinking of the latest news, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.